Smack is back. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm doing another reaction video of myself because I was on another episode of So You Think You Can Dance, so I thought we could watch my experience together as friends. I feel like I should crop myself out a little bit because there's a stain on my shoulder and I don't know where I got that from. You know what we should do? We should recap real quick. So I did a reaction video of my first audition. If you're new here, just go watch that. Season 16 is currently airing on TV in America. They're up to the Academy Week. For those of you who don't know Academy Week is when they teach you a bunch of different dance styles and you have to do every single one and then if you're not very good then you get cut. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. A little bit of BTS. Yeah, you're literally there for like a week or less if you get cut early on. <laughs> Let's have a little look. Welcome back to the Academy where the ballroom round is wrapping up. Also in this group is contemporary dancer Gabe Flowers and jazz dancers that's my bunny rabbit digging at the ground. And just dance it, Sarah Smack McCrainer. You're like the Lucille Ball of dancing. I have a lot of pressure because I'm not a ballroom dancer, but I'm excited to like fake it till I make it. <laughs> all right. Oh, easy action. Ooh, Whoa. Yes, I am all in. You're gonna get Lucille smacked. Ball. Okay. Wow, well, Nigel. <laughs> Come forward a little bit. Dang I don't know why smack. I'm doing Good. this. And cue music. No, we don't take it from my head. Okay, let's just point out that this dance goes for like 30 seconds and they really don't show me that much. Thank you, because I did not dance well. <laughs> Oops. I look so tired and stupid. <laughs> jump in here and say my critique of myself because you don't really get to see a lot of what I did but I am the first person to say that when I'm not 100% confident I completely overdance everything like if you're meant to do an arm like this I'm like I got and I'm like this. And it's really terrifying to watch. Not flattering at all. Something I've done since I was a kid. Not proud of it. But what about smacking? Not for me. Okay. Nigel is a no. I'm a yes. She's a star, but I think it's a little too much. She can pull it back. Yeah, I agree with Mary. She's hitting it hard because she, it's her first time. She wasn't bad. It's not her style. <laughs> Right, when you're on stage, you can't hear what the judges are saying. That's the weirdest thing about watching this back on TV is like, oh, that's what they were saying. Smack. Yes, hello. There's a lot of discussion about you. So many of the moves were overdone. Yeah. You gotta pull it back in a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, mask Singer is up. We are gonna ask you to dance for your life. Go get your solo, your music together, and you're gonna come back out. You know, at that point, I felt pretty defeated and very confused just for multiple reasons, but mostly I felt like I don't want to do my solo because I knew that the solo I had ready was not good. Maybe I'll talk more about that later. Good luck to you. You have the, you op got this. You have the opportunity. Oh. Oh my gosh. I super blew it. Now I have to dance for my life and feels like my last shot as a dancer. So let's just see what happens. Oh God. Okay, and cue music. I can't look. I hate it. <laughs> Love this song though, that's all I cared about. That was meant to be a side flip with my hands off the ground, but I, uh, It cut something out there. Oh. Ah. You know how everyone in the world right now, not really, how everyone's like, wow, she really blew it. She didn't show any technique. I planned to put a lot of technique in this routine. And um, even though this is called Dance For Your Life, I was really dancing to go home. Oh, 
Yo, my fault, not very good at choreographing. But the next sequence that I had up my sleeve was definitely my favorite and it, I think it would have been a little bit impressive, but got uh, cut before I could do that. So lesson learned, put all your good stuff in the first 20 seconds. Don't wait until after. Watch, microphone. I love the concepts that she's using her solos, like the comedy stuff no, that I've no. never really seen before. Her level of entertainment. Anybody else touching it? I would audition for that though. Snack, we've discussed you because you are so original and we love the humor and the level of performance. Uh, Should I take the commercial break to kind of talk through the whole strategy for myself? Before going into Academy Week, we are told to prep two solos. One of them is for Dance for Your Life, and one of them is for if we make it through to the end of Academy, we have to dance one last solo before they choose the top, however many. I had prepped four or five solos. Really strong concepts, if I can say so myself. I was really impressed with four of them. The fifth solo, which is what you guys just saw, was my throwaway solo. In saying that, that is absolutely the number one thing I regret. I was being strategic in a way that I was saving my best for when the time matters more. But then I uh, I definitely did not put a strong foot forward in this particular situation. Totally makes sense that I, uh, oh wait, we haven't actually watched the rest of it yet. Oh. Sang, we love the humor and the level of performance, but as a dance competition, you haven't really cut it. Yeah, it's gonna be a no today. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Okay. I'm sorry. Thank, Thank you, you very guys. much. It's been real fun. Thanks, my name is Mac. This is a hardcore dance competition and although I have some technique up my sleeve, it's like nothing compared to everybody else. While Smack's journey is over, back inside the theatre Okay, well, like Kat Dealey just said, Smack's journey is over. I really do wish that I got to show America my contemporary skills, because that's definitely one of my strongest dance styles. But yeah, all in all, I mean, I have a few regrets, but I also completely understand that, yeah, this might not have been the best competition for me. So for me, this show was such a cool opportunity that I actually got to do whatever the hell I wanted to do, and I got to do it as myself, say my name and be like, this is me, I like chocolate, and this is how I dance. And I'm so chuffed that I've got this really cool little memory. I'm like, dude, I can't thank the editing crew and the production team enough. They really presented me in a very flattering way. <gasps> they want me back on the show. I'm kidding. For those of you who care, <laughs> just to let everyone know, I have been working professionally as a dancer and actress in LA for almost seven years. Honestly, I'm so fortunate that I have already been in LA this long and I'm already doing jobs that as a kid I was dreaming to do like music videos, commercials for all my favorite brands. I've got TV shows and stuff that I've got little cameos in. So keep an eye out for me because you might see me on TV every now and then. I guess this is the perfect time for me to say, follow me on social media. I I think that I want to end this video by saying, Kat Dearly, if you watch this, can we hang out? You know what? I've had some people say that they're like, if we complain enough, they'll bring Smack back on the show. I um, highly doubt that. But uh, if I went back next year, I would love to go back as like a backstage host. Anyone who is important like that is watching, let me know. I'm available.